So for today's video, I have something really exciting here, clearly. I have a Unify 16XG network switch. So I guess I should start off the video with yesterday was my birthday, and my dad and I went to Micro Center, and he saw me looking at this and told me that he would get this as my birthday gift. Uh, so I'm extremely thankful for that. Uh, my parents have really helped me out a lot in the whole computer space uh, throughout my whole life, so I gotta thank them for that. Uh, so in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing the Switch, and I also have some other Unify 10 gig hardware. I also ordered some Unify SFP Plus LCLC fiber modules and a 15 meter fiber optic cable, along with another two meter SFP Plus direct attach cable for Unify devices. I already have one of those connecting the Mac Pro server to the UDM Pro I unboxed a couple videos back. So I guess before I ramble on any longer, we can go ahead and unbox it. So I love Unify's packaging, or Ubiquiti's packaging. It's really flashy and, you know, shows the device on the front. And they're like Apple boxes where they have, they, they uh, build a vacuum when you pull off parts of them. But we have a cardboard box under this. And I use these things all the time at work. We have a lot of them deployed as the backbone switches. And Unify did release the uh, Leaf switch, but that's like two grand and it has 48 10 gig ports and 600 gig ports. So it's totally unnecessary for me. And like I said, it's like two grand for that thing. So not worth it for me right now. Eventually, if I stick with Unify hardware, I'll probably upgrade to one of those, but that's quite a few years down the line when I actually need that many 10 gig devices. So I already pulled out the rack ears and here we have a quick start guide, our power cable and our rack hardware. And if I lift this out, we have a network switch. So I'm going to lift that box aside and set the switch down, hopefully, in frame. Oh wow, that's pretty good actually. So I actually have to get ready for school uh, pretty soon, but um, I guess we can do a hardware tour of the switch. So if we lift it up again, we have four RJ45 10 gig ports, and I'm not really sure how much I'm going to be using those because I've been told that RJ45 does have some latency issues with 10 gig and we have 12 SFP plus uh, 10 gig ports for fiber modules or uh, direct attach cables. I'm going to have two fiber connections on this, one for the MacBook Pro and one for the gaming computer up in my office. And the rest of these are going to be DAC cables for short runs to different servers in the rack. So over here we have our link lights. We have four for the RJ45 and 12 for the SFP plus. You can see they have a kind of color code there. And then our Unify logo with the LED ring around it. Nothing but vents and screws for the rack ears on the side. We have our IEC power cable and a redundant power supply connection and two 30 millimeter fans and a console cable. So excuse the cable mess and the disgusting rat's nest of awfulness that is my uh, under desk situation. Uh, spring break started today, so I will be cleaning this shortly. Uh, I have the Dream Machine Pro and the 16XG in the rack here. It was uh, making the table here sag, so I just jammed a piece of wood under there. And uh, I also have my old router PC. That's now a Kali Linux machine modem up here. And uh, right now I have uh, three connections. This is the connection to the Mac Pro server. This is the connection to the router. And this is a fiber uplink to the gaming computer. You can see the laser there. And everything's working great now, but when I first got this and tried to adopt it, I tried for maybe four or five hours to get this on the network and it wouldn't do it. And either that's because in the Unify controller, I have the uh, thing set up for a domain or whatever. There's some command, I forgot what it's called. I'll, I'll, put, it, I'll put an overlay in the video uh, of what the command is, but it's supposed to like reset where the devices get their config from. 
and I think something got messed up when I changed the host name of this or something. And uh, yeah, so it took me like four or five hours to finally get this on the network and it's just been sitting up here running the network and I have a uh, fiber card. Well, I have a Intel X520 in there and uh, everything's working so far. Everything's working great. This is gonna be the uh, 10 gig backbone for the uh, home network when I get that up and running. But uh, the fans on this are definitely audible. You can probably hear it on camera, but uh, having this sit next to my desk isn't really an issue for me. Normally I'm pretty sensitive to loud devices. I like keeping them downstairs. That's why the servers aren't all in my bedroom. And this has uh, honestly not really been bothering me. Uh, it's loud, it's definitely audible, but it's just kind of a pleasant white noise versus, you know, something else. Uh, it's not really any different though from normal. It's just not annoying to me. So I can usually tune it out and uh, do my work while this is up here. But eventually I'm gonna be running conduit from my office to the basement. And uh, we're gonna have two fiber modules for the MacBook Pro and the gaming computer, a router uplink to the Dream Machine Pro. These two are probably gonna be to a switch and then these two to the net backup 5230. And then I have five ports that I'm not using yet. And uh, it hurts me to stagger the connections cause that's just really ugly, but you know, I'm not gonna have it, you know, be weird anyway. So uh, there's also the uh, four RJ45s and if I get a Mac Pro, then, you know, I can plug those in there. Those are all 10 gig too. So no promises on that last statement, but it would be a lot of fun. So I wanted to film this clip. Uh, it's been about two months since I unboxed this and set it up. And I've just now gotten around to editing the video, but this is the kind of semi-final deployment of this switch. You can see it's in the rack here. We have my R710. You'll see these two servers in probably the next video and uh, the NBU5230. But this is, like I said, the semi-final deployment. You can see I have an empty spot there. That's where the UDM Pro is going to plug in when I get that in the rack. This one up here is going to link to this Arista that you're going to see in an upcoming video as well. And these two ports are going to be for the 48 port switch I get. And then the net backup is uplinked here with these DAC cables. And then right now I'm just using these fiber cables, but I'm gonna get DAC cables for the super micro here. Uh, just those are delayed right now because of uh, that which shall not be named. I also have these four cables running at gig speed to the GS748 TV5. That's in the front of the rack. KVM switch down there, that's beside the point. But if you can hear me okay, I think that's all I have to say for this video. There's nothing else to really include. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna have an upcoming Unify rant because if you've seen the last video, a lot of things kind of went wrong. But with that said, I think that's gonna be it for this video. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.